Event loop is one of the most important and useful module in Node. Event module allows us to create different events in Node. Events are basically used to perform a statements on certain action. Node.js allows us to create and handle custom events easily by using event module. With an event emitter, we can simply raise a new event from a different part of application and a listener will listen to the raises event and have some action performed for the event. The event module provides us the event emitter class, which is the key working with event in Node.js. Event is also a very important module in Node if you want to work on events. So let's take a look at how to create an event and how to work with it. So down here, I'm going to create a simple variable. So here I'm going to say constant events is equal to and require event module. So here I'm going to call require and call a module events. So once I require this module, as you can notice, events are inbuilt in node. So you don't have to install this event using npm. Now once I have this event module, let me just create an object of event emitter class by using this event module. So here I'm going to create a variable let ev is equal to new events dot event emitter. I'm going to call a class event emitter. Now once I have an instance of event emitter, I can create my own events. So let's create a simple event using this ev instance. So here I'm going to say ev dot and I'm going to call a method on. On method is used to create events. So here I'm going to say on and to the first argument, I'm going to specify the event which I want to create. So here I want to create my event. So I'm going to name this my event. If you want, you can specify a different name as well. That's upon you. And once I call this event, I want to perform a certain action. So I'm going to just call a function here as a second argument. So here I'm going to call a function and pass a data parameter to it. And inside this function, I'm going to say console.log and in the double quote, I'm going to say event and then just specify data. Using the sentence, I'm going to just console this function data. Now when I call this event, I'm going to pass this data variable value. I'm going to just pass this function as a callback function to this on method. So the first argument is the event name which I want to create and then the callback function which you want to execute when this event is called or you can say raises. So to call this event or you can say to raise this event, I'm going to say ev dot emit. The emit method is used to call the event. In the parenthesis, I'm going to call a single code and specify the exact name of my event. So I'm going to copy this event name and specify here. Just like that, as you can notice, I just specify here data parameter to this callback function. So we need to specify this value as well. So as a second argument in the double code, I'm going to say call emit method to fire my event. I'm going to just save the changes and execute this file. When I execute this file, I'm going to have this message call emit method to fire my event. So this will just console this message. So you can notice I'm going to just fire this my event using this emit method. You can create different events using this event module. That's how on you. Now suppose you want to create an event which execute only once. To do that, you can use once method. Let me show you. I'm going to get rid of this on method right from here. And here I'm going to call ev dot once. So I'm going to call this method once and then specify event name. So here I'm going to specify my event name event once. So I'm going to create a new event with the name event once and specify a second argument which is the callback function. So instead of creating a standard function, I'm going to create here an arrow function. And to this arrow function, I'm going to just say console.log and here I'm going to say event once fire. And just out of that, I'm going to call this event. So as you can notice, I have this emit method to call events. So I'm going to get rid of this second parameter. And here I'm going to call this event like this. Save the changes and execute this program again. When I execute this program, you can notice I'm going to have a message event once once fire. Now, what if I duplicate this statement? Let me just duplicate this statement like this. Save the changes. And when I execute this file, I'm going to have a single message. This statement will not execute this event multiple times. So this once method will execute event only once. So emitting events registered with once method will have no impact. Now just for that, if you want, you can pass callback function as a second argument to this once method and you can specify multiple parameters as well. So here I'm going to specify multiple parameters. So here I'm going to say code and msg. And I'm going to pass these parameters inside this console.log. So here, 
using this backtick operator i'm going to say got and call this code variable and then i'm going to say and and print msg like this just for that get it off this second emit and here as you know i have these two parameters to this callback function so we need to pass value to it using this emit method so down here i'm going to pass value to it i'm going to pass 200 to the first parameter and ok to the second parameter save the changes and execute this file when i execute this file as you can notice i'm going to have a message got 200 and ok so using this technique if you want you can pass multiple parameters to the event now you can notice how to register an event using on and once method now what if you want to unregister the event you can do that with off method when we register an event we pass a function as a callback function when we unregister the event we also need to pass this function so let me just grab this function and put that here so i'm going to create here c1 is equal to and i'm going to pass this function and i'm going to just say here c1 like this i'm going to specify here variable where and down here just out of this once i'm going to call a method ev dot off this method is used to unregister the event as a first argument i'm going to pass the event name like this and as a second argument i'm going to pass the function so i'm going to call this callback function c1 now when i execute this file i'm not going to get anything because we unregistered this event using this statement so this statement will return nothing so this is how you can use event module in node next we'll talk about string